Hey, what's up guys? It's Franchise923 and the year is 2020 and I decided I'd make a new video about how we can use PyInstaller to turn a Python script into an executable. Um, so I'm, I'm just on their homepage here and they have their quick start and it's just they're saying pip install PyInstaller. So it's 2020 and I'm actually using Anaconda now. So I'm going to go over to the Anaconda um, prompt, the command prompt, and I'm going to actually create a new conda environment. So I can just say conda create, or actually it's conda, yeah, conda create dash dash name pi installer demo. Just click enter. And yes. And now I'm going to activate this environment. So conda activate pi installer demo. I'm going to clear the screen and if I just say conda env list, this is going to show me all my other conda environments. So I can see here where the star is. That tells me I'm in the pi installer environment. So next we actually have to install pi, uh, pi installer. So we can just say instead of pip install, we can say conda install pi installer. And it's saying there's all these other dependent libraries that we need. So we're just going to say yes. All right, so now if I say conda list, so not conda env list, but just conda list, this is all the packages that are in our Python library here. So you can see that pi installer is now there. So I'm going to clear the screen and then I wanna go into Python because I need to figure out where this Python executable is. So if I import sys and then print sys.executable, this is where Python actually lives for this environment. So that's going to come in handy when we actually go to PyCharm and try to configure an interpreter. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to make a simple script. This looks new. Uh, we'll make a new project. Let's call it um, Py Installer Project. And I need to change this. So I just need to go browse for that conda environment. So C, what was that on? C, users fran, users fran. Pi installer demo, and there it is. And then I'm just going to click create. All right, so now we'll make a new file, call it pi installer demo. And back in the Anaconda prompt, I just want to exit out of Python. And I just want to type pi installer to make sure that I get this. So if you can get this to pop up in your command prompt, then you're good to go. You can keep watching. But if you haven't, if you can't just type pi installer, then maybe rewatch the video or, or try to figure out how, how you can get pi installer installed um, before we continue. So now let's just make an easy, uh, simple script. So I'm going to say, I'm going to make a very, like an input, like a prompt on the screen that says, Type your name and let's make this a variable. Call it my name equals. And then we're, let's just print it like a thousand times. All right, we'll print my name. And then at the end, let's just have another input that says press enter to end. So from this type your name franchise 923 all right and you see how it's not immediately closing it's actually hanging until we enter so press enter to end okay cool so 
this is what we want. Like, this is what we want to try to turn into an executable. So, back in our Anaconda prompt, and clear the screen again. We need to change directory to where the script is. So, I know it's on, it's not on my C drive, it's on my E drive. So, I'm going to type E colon. Now, I'm on the E drive. And now, I need to change directory to where this file is. So, you can actually open it in Explorer. And it'll take you right to where this file is. So I'm just going to copy this path and change directory to that path. So if I type dir, we should see we're inside that directory now. So now we can just say pi installer. Now we just need to give it the path. So I'm shift right clicking to give it the full path. But since we're in this directory, you don't have to give it the full path, but I'm just in the habit of doing that. And now we just need to say dash dash one file. This means it's going to make it, it's going to put everything into just one dot exe file instead of having multiple like subdirectories. Um, so we're just going to keep that. And then we want to say dash dash icon equals. And I'm actually going to download an icon for us. So we need something called an ICO, which is like an icon image. Um, icon file. Let's see if... I'm just trying to find... Here we go. So if you have an ICO file already, great. But if not, you can just download one. Or you can even make one in, in Microsoft Paint if you want to. Um, but this is what's going to be used for... Like what shows up, like what shows up next to the file, like see right there. So I'm going to shift right click to copy as path and then paste it here. Let me close all this crap out. So you can see this is what we have in our directory now. I'm about to run this and you'll see some more stuff gets created. So click enter. You see it's making these files, this build, this dist, and then the spec file. So it looks like it finished successfully. So let's go into dist and there it is. There's our executable and it has the little icon. So if I double click this, it says type your name, franchise923. There we go. And it's not immediately closing. That's what I wanted. And we can press enter to end. Cool. So that's it guys. Um, not much has changed since the last video, but I am using Anaconda now, so I figured I'd make another video. And I also got a nicer microphone, so um, I figured I would re-record it. Um, yeah, thanks. And if you like this, uh, please like and subscribe. And comment if there's any other videos or topics you'd like me to make videos on. Thanks.